<laughs> Welcome back to episode three, which, from our viewers' point of view, it would be only two because I only recorded my voice of session two. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> back crazy, to yeah. episode two, I guess, of uh, our Lost Minds of Fandelver and Below campaign. Uh, up to this point or where we left off our party after getting this will be a refresher for you guys as well after getting the their quest if you will from uh gundren rock seeker one of the rock seeker brothers the dwarf um getting the quest from him to uh follow behind him and his human escort sildar hallwinter to the town of phandalin uh he had a cart or a wagon with oxen and it was filled with supplies uh for what he explained to be something big that he had found uh after making their way down the high road peering off this small rough and tumble trail of the tribor trail heading their way towards Fandolin, they encountered a little bit of a problem uh on their way they were ambushed by four goblins, and after dispersing of these goblins in a, a quick fight, uh, they quickly found out that the remains of this battle scene that they stumbled upon as they were ambushed um, seemed to be... They made the connection that it was Gundren and Sildar who got ambushed uh, after picking up or putting on their detective caps and figuring out, trying to figure out what happened at this scene, they decided, rather than continuing to Fandolin, to search for Gundren or Sildar. If they were even still alive, they didn't know. Or they still don't know, I guess. Uh, and, as uh, Akai also pointed out, uh, they need to put a stop to this, to these ambushes here. So That's my last name. After making their way up this small rough and tumble trail and finding a cave, they quickly took out some goblin scouts at the mouth of this cave. And after entering this cave, this dark cave, they started clearing out different uh, different parts of the cavern here. It's almost like a um, like a ant hole, if you will. Or different trails and different rooms inside of this cliff face where these goblins are staying at. Um, after killing many wolves, trying to take a short rest, getting ambushed in the morning, taking out even more, they made their way to a bigger part of the cavern, almost cut in half with two escarpments. And after killing a couple of goblins below and heading up top, they found two almost uh, rough, more rough goblins, if you will, and a human male writhing in pain on the ground, they found Sildar Hallwinter. But after all of them made their way up the steps in this tense, um, this tense, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, encounter, um, one of the goblins held a knife to Sildar's throat and demanded and demanded over and over again that all of you drop your weapons but with quick thinking and a a, a quick spell off by Tyrion, the goblins including sildar were quickly wrapped up in one foul swoop by vines just shooting out of the ground where then the four party members uh very very quickly uh <laughs> dismembered all of these goblins and saved Sildar, where then, um, after all the goblins have been defeated, they are now in this cavern, uh, talking to Sildar as he, you guys had a brief conversation with him about, um, just what he knows, uh, which he kind of explained to you guys, some, some person named Clark in this cave, and how him and Gundren got uh, ambushed on their way here, 
Gundren had a map to this wave echo cave where you learned the history of Phandalin and why the town was built and the uh, f- the forge of spells and that the Gundren uh, or the Rockseeker brothers rather had found this cave this long lost cave to time and they're trying to keep it under wraps that they know where it is because they want to use this forge of spells and find it and there's just so much wealth that can be had there. However, Gundren's map was taken by these goblins, as well as Gundren himself. Now, Sol- Sildar, as you, uh, I believe you guys handed him like a sword or a weapon of some sort, maybe a, a short bow or a hand crossbow. Um, he lifts up to his feet again. <clears throat> well, you, uh, you four, uh, you did save me, and you. Your methods may be a, a bit abrupt, but uh, thank you. <coughs> this cave that you're in now is uh, dimly lit by some two little campfires down below. You can only see the glow off up over this escarpment and uh, scintillating off this almost dewy stalactites uh, reaching down from the ceilings. Uh, Aki will, like, walk up to... Can I grab my... Sh- I can't grab my character anymore. Did you change this? Are, yeah, you, you got I it. can grab yours. I can only grab the map. Oh, go to... Uh... <laughs> token. So on the top, hit T and hit escape. Or hit that, yeah. after you hit T. Oh. No, oh. don't... <laughs> You can just use that one. Can you control that uh, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll just, I'll just delete the other one. So a key will spawn him his actual self using his fey powers that you get. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I'll walk up to Sildar. Sildar, do you think you can? Do you think you can walk with us, or are you too injured? Uh, I think I can manage. Thank you. Well, I like to look over the edge. Do we want to keep going, or should we head back? This cave seems very dangerous. With how Sildar was looking, I don't know if our good old friend over there would be doing any better if we waited much longer. I think this is a time necessity type of thing. I'll nod, take my flask out, take a huge fucking drink out of the strong moon. (laughs) Before we go in there, anyone got anything else on them that might be able to heal someone? when we go into this next fight? Uh, Wait, we're going I, into the next fight? I don't have anything on me. However, I I think these men here are goblins, if you will, these nasty creatures. You can kind of see him lift up his boot as the one goblin that got wrapped by these uh, vines. is His almost like dark crimson blood is just pooling onto this cold stone and he lifts up his his boot. You can hear it. Like it's almost coagulating already in this damp, dark cave. But he lifts up his boot, and I believe they may have taken something off of us that could help. Have you uh, looted them or checked what's? I'd like to loot the bodies. I am curious <laughs> to. It feels like you're you're speaking of some specific item, yet you won't tell us the the. The name of Sensei. I'm looting well, we, we did have you. many. We did have many rations, and I believe they were uh, akin to might be what what you are looking for is a few health potions. Oh, I see this uh, pile in the corner. He kind of walks his way over towards around Torg. Excuse me, there, and you can see him start. I walk past him. Yeah, <sighs> you can find. Uh, do you want to? You see a couple bags. You want to look? You want to look through? Yeah. Them? Mm-hmm. A trap? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you get beheaded. Uh, no, you reach in. Unconscious. You can find three health potions. Did anyone see? Just, Did anyone just see the base. Uh, yeah, give me a, a, give me a. Give me a. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> I'm kidding. What, what is that? Oh. You can hide it if you want. No. Nah. Sildar, if we're going into a fight here, how are you looking? You need one of these to top out yourself off, or you're ready for action. Well, I'll like, I'll like lean over to you. Uh, do, 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 hey. do you think we should give him a potion? He seems quite weak. He doesn't need it. Uh, well, you, uh, 
You're this guy. I'm gonna be whispering this to a key so no one else hears me. You know, even if he can take a couple hits, that keeps him off us, right? Ah, uh, yes. That's I'm walking over here just saying, are you guys Brains. ignoring me? Yes. And I'll walk away. <laughs> so, Sildar, how are you looking? I know you're looking kind of rough, but I guess I don't know how you're feeling. Well, I just responded, but you weren't listening to me. When did you respond? straight. I'll be fine. I'm gonna, I'll be fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reminisce on like our okay. last fight to be shooting the guy right in front of Tyrion and be like, God, I hope he saw me do that. That was Tor. so sick. <laughs> give one to Tyrion. Key and give one to Remy. Well, you seem like the smartest. Do you just want them all? Nah, we'll spread them out <laughs> over this one. Okay, okay. Can I give one to a Key and Remy? Well, this yep. is liquor, and I'll look at it. And I'll drink I it. say times of this. No, 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 I won't drink it. <laughs> you were drinking. Still dark. When you were dragged through here, did you know anything about this cave? I saw there was two paths. One uh, we came well, up and one that snakes off to the left. Okay. Uh, were you heading this way? We came up. Uh, so we came um, into the cave, saw a couple cliffs to the left, jumped up them and came up here. Is that the way you came? Um, I, uh, to be honest, haven't seen much of the cave myself. They, they knocked me out when we were on the road, and I woke up in this room. Well, Remy, I saw you come barreling down the other hallway. What's over there? Uh, I didn't, I didn't take too much of a look, but I can definitely tell that the cave goes on and the water kind of turns off, and I think it, it splits just past the bridge where, where I made my way up. Oh, so you jumped up on the bridge? Yeah, you guys didn't see it, but it was pretty spectacular. Why well, say? And I like walk up. Well, when I was flying over the water, I did see the split path he was talking about. Maybe I could take, maybe I could take the high ground while you guys take the lower end, and I'll cover you. Well, I say we get on over there. Times of this, since we saw how they were treating Sildar, we can only imagine how they're treating Gundren. And well, I'm going to start yeah. making my way over. A couple of you look pretty rough. Uh, would you want to take those potions now? Or? What's yeah. this guy talking No, I feel pretty good. I'll leave. That's actually Cap, by the way. <laughs> I think I'll <laughs> stay in the back. Nah, Sildar. You, you, you ain't ranged, are you? What do you use for weapons? Well, normally I just wield a sword, however. Would you like S a javelin? Sildar is on 1 HP. <laughs> Well, bro, I asked him how he was feeling. He said he was managing. <laughs> well, what I meant by that is I can kind of yeah. just stay in the back, and uh, those of you who will right, fight in the front line for... need it more than me. Oh, Sildar, Why can't you be more history? direct with us? If Sildar, you ask let for me a marching history. order. You got Sildar hired him. by our good friend uh, Gundren as well, and now we're going to save him, and you just want to be along for the ride and say you saved him. That's how I I'm taking like this. I feel like you're treating this as if we're here on some mere coincidence, Sildar. We are here to save you and your life's friend. I know you appreciate that. To be that. honest, However, Sildar, I didn't come to save you. I came to save Gundren. He's a guy paying us. I understand that. What I'm trying to get at is I would rather have the four of you be at full capacity rather than all of us be scraping along. You think I'm scraping? I think us four are at full capacity. I could use a couple more drinks, but... Referencing well, alcohol, me, obviously. <laughs> I'm heading out. I think we need to go find them. Time is of the essence, boys. Shay, what is the max? All right, so are you just stay in the back then do what you can. Say again. And I'll take off. What's the max feeling I can get out of this potion? Uh, so. it's The base one is 2d4 plus 4? I can, I can fly. Is that right? Technically. So, as we know it here, if we four? go down this little cave, we'll go back to the river. Ben, do you I don't know, know if that's, right? that's... I think so. I can check right now. I can fly can we 60, slide down so... this cliff? With, uh, is the rope still up here? Um, whoever was shooting. holding the rope would just have it on their person. Um, do we need a rope I... to get down? <laughs> yeah, guys, already flying. No, you away. can slide down. Oh, okay. Okay. Sildar's gonna go up this way, follow a Kai. Okay. Remy, you wanna follow me down Same. here? I'll walk yeah, back just to oh, take a peek. I'm gonna walk towards Sildar. If you're going to stay in the back, please just make sure you are quiet. I can do that. You can see uh, I'm kind of just it seems the, the path might split two ways. 
I will stop. Do we see anything around the corner? This cor and hugging this little thing, and I'll look around the corner. Uh, Ben, you got a update? No, I didn't have my book on me. I just got it out now. I Here believe it's it's two d four plus two d four plus four sounds okay. right. Yeah, I yeah. think it's two d four both. Yeah, I will save mine. And or like a healing yeah, potion. Yeah, yeah, or just the standard. The yeah, the, yeah. Um, Remy and Torque, as you're making your way up this, uh, these stone steps, these natural stone steps, and this small stream that is going along to your left, as you get higher and higher up into this cave, and as as we're in, uh, we're going through this cave, all of you guys can tell that it's all kind of ascending up into this whole entire cliff mountain if you will but as you approach up these steps you faintly in this room ahead of you can feel or uh hear like faint uh flow of water and you can see ahead of you that there are pools of water however it gets a little too dark beyond view. So, can we tell if it's deep? Or like how deep it is? Can I you walk can't. up a little bit and test? Sure. You kind of walk <laughs> up. your toes in the water. <laughs> and it's very shallow. Which you can tell as you get about where you are right now. There used to be a stone wall here that seemed to have been crushed and taken down so that where there was a pool, giant pool of water rushed down this river so when you guys got blasted with that coming up the um you guys remember that where you got hit with the rushing yeah, water yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I no, there was a pool here and they broke this stone wall down for it all to rush down and do that is there any like can i see a source of water like coming into it or is what's yeah there, what's off there? to your left where's my pointer can you see this mm. yeah yeah right about here you can see a stream, and right over here, you can see a stream filling these pools. But okay. as you see all of this, whew, an arrow from a goblin comes flying out towards you. Right off we, to your do we right. Hear like, do we hear the arrow from the tunnel over here? You do. Or would it just be like, yeah. Uh, and that is going to be oh. a uh, 17 to hit. Oh. Um. Misses. Shit. This oh, shot. I'm going to. Okay. Well, I had my shield out at one point, but I'm going to assume I put it back. So, yeah, that would hit. All right. That is going to be eight points of piercing damage. Oh, <laughs> Remy, I'm gonna, Remy, I'm gonna look at the deer. Oh. The deer ah. Can, can I have a retaliation? Drink. Like fucking pull my crossbow and shoot one back at him. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, where's my crossbow? <laughs> I would like to I'll start slowly moving I'll just up. be like, I'll just be like, did you hear something? We heard it, right? Yep. Yeah. You just heard yeah. a fourteen. <laughs> I don't know if we can connect over here. 14, so I say we move slowly. Barely misses. Let's see yeah, if fuck. we can connect to him. <laughs> you shoot an arrow back. Sildar. This goblin <laughs> ducks underneath it. I'll tell Sildar, just wait here. I think we have some people up there. We'll take care of before you come. Don't don't make any noise. I would like okay. to slowly, stealthily move up. <laughs> Do not come. All right. After I after I shoot and miss, because I'm assuming Torg is a little behind, I'm going to call yeah. out to him and be like, Torg. Goblin up ahead. Go up the stairs. Are you okay? Yeah, you don't look not really. Uh, do you guys but have I'm a best. Do you guys have a light source? Oh, I just dark vision, I guess, at this point. So you don't have a light source? I don't. I don't um, know. If yeah. So this cavern know. is very dark to everybody who doesn't have, have dark vision. Do you have it lit right now? Yes. Uh, if you let me light it, I do. Yeah, you can. Right as this, uh, you shoot back at this goblin, you pull out your torch and try to get some light in here and pff, alight the cavern. As you do, you can see this whole thing light up and you see barely a body of a goblin 
deeper inside. And I'm going to ask everybody to roll initiative. Oh, shit. Ooh. 21. Seven. <laughs> Hell fucking yeah, dude. 13. I'll be right back. Tyrion? 17. All right, at the top of the round, we have Torg. You just saw Remy get shot by an arrow, shoot one back, and light this torch. Up yeah, the stairs, uh, you can faintly see this goblin on the bottom left. Well, as I'm sprinting up, because I'm charging this dude. Sure. I am raging as I'm running through here. All right, I'm you screaming. pop your rage. You want to roll the hit? I, uh, oh, yeah. That is a nat 20. <laughs> 20. Oh! Crit, baby. Starting her off with a crit. Go ahead and roll damage. And you can roll your dice twice, or you can roll and then double that, and then add your modifiers. He's dead. Well, <laughs> I think he's obliterated. So you can make it double the 8, so it's 16 plus 4, so it's 20. Or you can roll again. Well, regardless, this goblin this absolutely gets decapitated <laughs> as you run up right as I Remy alights all over the his pool, torch. You. Yeah, you take yeah. your axe, is it? Yeah, great axe. Great axe, and you fucking Babe Ruth <laughs> through his neck, and his head just whoosh, lops into this pool. The, into the, the pool. The the water only coming up maybe three inches of this as the pool of blood just... Can I catch it as out. a bonus action and toss it at the other goblin? <laughs> <laughs> It's a little too quick. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, you still have some movement. Um, now just stay right here. All right. Uh, after that, we have Tyrion. Uh, I clearly can't see. What have I heard? Um, you heard a couple f <laughs> some yells and shouts and uh, s slicing of steel. Almost, and then up ahead of you, you can see this whole cave just get alit by this orange flame. Okay, I I'm going flying, to be moving stealthily, so I won't be moving my full movement. I'll come, come. When I get here, what do I see? Do I see you, the goblin down You there? see the body of a goblin falling into this pool right in front of Torg, and an empty room. Alright, I'm going to move another five feet. Do I see anything now? All right, I am just going to ready an action in case I do see something because I know goblins are around. All right, what what action are you ready? I'm rettering my rettering, throwing <laughs> my stone. Are you drunk or am I drunk, dude? Even though it, I'm slinging it, you know, for yeah, emphasis, yeah, yeah. But I'm throwing my stone. I'm readying an, uh, an attack action of that. All right. And I uh, asked Tyrion, is that a stone again? Remy. Again? <laughs> um, I'm going to take that health pot. All right. Uh, That's just a bonus action. Okay. Well, can I take it first? Or does it not yeah. matter? Uh, you can do it. You can split it up however you want. Okay. Can you actually? Um, I'm, like, yeah. Could we do that in like, our Did game? you take oh, damage really? there, Remy? Yeah, I <laughs> got hit for eight. <laughs> he got his ass beat, man. Yeah, I rolled uh, max damage. Two d four plus two is what we decided. Yep. yep. Oh, we wouldn't know. Yeah. Back. I got a back, baby. All right, so I'm gonna grab this flask of healing that uh, we just got. Take it out of my pocket. Chug it. Um, and I can see this goblin, correct? Um, correct. So I am going to kind of move up to Torg like stepping over all the blood and and uh the that other goblin um and i'm gonna get in the front line a little bit and then is that within 10 yep okay so i am going to attempt to just swipe my glaive at him yeah go ahead and roll the hit you can see this goblin it's almost uh has his back to the wall he has his bow out uh, a nine is going to miss. You go and stab at him, but he uh, ducks, ducks out of there, uh, dodges out of the way, and you can hear your glaive clank against the stone. Akai. Oz. I technically don't think I could have done can that, I see, but that's can fine. Can I see anything from Because I have my torch in like one above. hand. 
Yeah, you, correct. Because like I'm in this inlet, you, correct. So I assume I can see like this. You know what I mean? So you can, you flying, can see like, the a lit room, and you can see Remy going and stabbing at something past the stalactite to your right. And the cave opens up, and it gets almost 20, uh, 20 feet high at this point. So you can fly um, right wait, over Tyrion if you want. Didn't Remy yeah, throw so a torch I'll just in here? Fly. I'll just. Oh, well, Remy's that, holding that's a what torch. I was just yeah. gonna. Oh, yeah. So okay. technically, can I only? I can't use a two-handed weapon, but it's fine. I'd say you, you can. You, you just quickly put your torch like on your belt loop. Okay. Um, I'll fly over and be like, "What's going on in here?" And, and then you, I'll see the guy. Yeah. Like, can I see the goblin at yep. this point? Instinctively, I'll just take my bow out and shoot him. I'll shoot at him. Roll to hit. Legs following Akai as he flies through the air. Less one fly. And a nine to this goblin being elusive. Dodges out of the way of uh, of Remy's um, glaive. As a bull or an arrow flies past him. He is going to sprint right up the pole of your glaive, Remy. Let me know when I can. And swing to hit right as Tyrion lets off a shot. Fuck! 13. 13 just misses. You shoot the stone right at this goblin, but miss him as uh, he goes up to hit uh, a Remy. And he also misses. You, you pick up your glaive, hitting his sword out of the way. He's almost spitting on you as we come back to Torg. Oh, okay. I sprint past and say, nice try. And then I swing at this goblin as well. Yeah, go ahead. And you're still raging. Mm hmm. <laughs> rage? 18. Yeah, 18 rage. Does does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fifteen. For two guys. Fifteen. Oh, you, uh, you are seventeen. See, seventeen. Shit. Yeah, seventeen. You run up no with chill. with your axe as the blood is still flying off from the, the nape of this other goblin, and you almost slide it up the pole of Remy's uh, glaive and dig it as it just buries right into this goblin's chest, not, <laughs> and he falls, and then. Since I'm over here, do I see anything else in the cave? Or is this it? Um, looking ahead a little bit, you see uh, stone steps, natural stone steps that go up into another room. So, in order to like save my rage, can I use my movement and just sprint up here? If see you want to, coming? yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, you sprint up into this alit room, um, and. After that, we come to Tyrion. We, we're kind of out of uh, out of uh, combat here. So, do I lose my rage? Because if I lose my no, rage, no, your rage is I'm... still up. Your rage is still okay, up. Okay. okay. I'm saw Torg run. I'm going to. Come on over. What do I see? Everybody else, you uh, following? Uh, uh, can I, I loot after, like, anything that's left? Hit? I'm gonna like imagine my guy ate shit over here, <laughs> like as he was shooting his arrow, and just be like, "Well, nobody bats a hundred. And I'll like get up and I'll be like, <laughs> and, then, and then I'll just walk to the back by Tyrion. Yeah, you guys can uh, faintly hear Sildar as he just limps his way up behind. Oh, you guys made quick work of things. We have uh, a uh, don't worry. We it's uh, orc with thanks a to Torg. Problem. Yeah, he gets mad. And things die. Kinda like, I kind of like him like that. <laughs> um, you kind of yeah. like him like that, and I'll like, I'll like raise an eyebrow. Look <laughs> at you when you say <laughs> not, that. Not, not in that way, but you know when, when I'm getting blasted by arrows and can't seem to hit the broadside of a bard, it's kind of nice for somebody to work. Uh, you quickly, oh. you quickly loot them, Remy. Uh, you find nothing on them aside from just their old rusty. Swords and short bows. Okay. Uh, Torg, as you come into this space, you can see a large room with a fire pit in the middle, which is a lit. And scattered throughout are um, the goods that you assume were on the cart with 
uh, Gundren and Sildar. You can see on them is the familiar symbol of the Lion Shield coaster, which is uh, also on the equipment that were on your guys' wagons. Uh, that is what you see. Do you want to step in deeper with your rage? Mm-hmm. Yeah, really you next to fire. run up into the middle. See of this. Everybody else, you following? Yeah, I'm gonna like. Yeah, you all run up into. Uh, as you run into the space, you quickly find out that this room seems to be empty. You look off to your left throughout all of this equipment and crates and barrels and supplies. Off to your left is somewhat of a. It seems to be so, uh, like a makeshift chair, a large chair or a throne. And you get the putrid smell of just. Uh, sweat and body odor. As you step in, all of you, you can hear and you see a large figure of a bugbear jump down from behind the supplies. You can see this almost standing 10 feet tall, hairy humanoid figure with pointed ears. Uh, his um, whole body is just muscular similar to Torg uh, but his armor just looks like it's almost scrapped and put together from things that he's found and in his hand is a long long almost morning star mace type wooden weapon with metal spikes protruding out of the tip you can see him spinning as he jumps out who comes into Clark's cave don't you know where you are who are you fighting? Yeah, go he's ahead. Gonna, he's gonna like scare me jumping down, and I'm just gonna be like, just gonna be like, oh, I, I cut him off. I say, I am, and then just sprint up to him, and I swing. I'm sure, go him. ahead and roll the hit. Go ahead oh. and roll to hit. Alright, I miss. In <laughs> 11. Rage? Huh? The rage doesn't that do anything for. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just on strength. You run up with your great axe and go to swing at him from the top as he kind of just laughs and brings his Morningstar up with one hand and deflects it off to the side. You all can see sparks. Get out of my cave or die! You seem strong. I need everybody to roll smoking. initiative. It was almost a natural one on my end. <laughs> I got eight. Eight. 14. Okay. Tyrion? 14. Um, Alright, so we got Tyrion, Akai. A key. Re it's a key. A key. It's a key, bro. It's a key, bro. Remy and then Torque. Yep. So, uh, at the top of the round, uh, I'm going to have Clark right as Torg, uh, he deflects your hit, and he says this, brings down his Morningstar right on you, with a natural oh. 19. Uh, that is going to be a 25 to hit. Misses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God, bro. <laughs> I, I was worried you. there for a second. Oh, rolled horrible on the damage, though. Uh, you take four points of piercing damage. Uh, yeah, he's He brings his uh, Morningstar back around and almost hits you in the leg, but you do almost a spin move out of the way. <laughs> uh, we're going to come to Tyrion. What are you doing? I'd like to cast Fairy Fire. Okay. Uh, what type of save of that? Wisdom? DC... 14 deck save. Deck save? With a natural 2? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see, um, what color do you want it to be? I want it to be uh, red like firelight. Okay. You guys see, almost as a prismatic effect, kind of illuminates almost half of this open space. Almost like when you're looking at like an oil spill on the ground, but it's almost translucent before it all kind of fades away. And then you see Clark in right up with Torg and almost behind these supplies on the other side of this cavern. His entire body, uh, there's almost a silhouette or a aura around him that's brightly lit. Uh, 
all of you get advantage when you are attacking him. Yep, I'm going to yell out to my allies, uh, now is the time to hit him, he's weakened. As as I am uh, going to take a five foot step back and going to do a cantrip of magic stones so I have a couple more stones. Okay. Uh, right after that, we come to a key. Can I light my arrows on fire? Um, do you want to try? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Yeah, you uh, <laughs> you run up. I'm you take a drink while I'm like, like, like roasting a marshmallow. I'm gonna just <laughs> stick my arrow in there. Yeah, you <laughs> stick your arrow, and uh, the the metal kind of starts heating up. Nice. I will shoot <laughs> Clark. <laughs> All right, you just put it in your bow. <laughs> you go and take a shot, roll like, a hit. You know, just be like, well, that didn't work. 17, baby. <laughs> 17. Roll just hits. Go crit. ahead and roll damage. I'll roll again for crit. Yep, you have advantage, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll like sit there, I'll like sit there after it. I'll, I'll like quickly draw it to my bow and I'll like, since I'm kind of drunk, I'll like stick my tongue out and like wave my <laughs> And then yeah, I'll shoot him. So, uh, roll damage. Hell yeah. I think this is the first time. <laughs> Insane. I'm crazy. Five, Five. points of damage. <laughs> and as I shoot it, I'll be like, well, that should take care of it. Yeah, you, you uh, shoot this uh, uh, semi-warm arrow at uh, Kalarg behind Torg. <laughs> you snake it, almost sh uh, shints off of his sh shoulder, but you can see a little bit of blood. <laughs> Remy. Um. Do I can just run up to him, right? Like If you want, sure. I'm not gonna... Yeah, um, I'm going to run up to him because Torg's up here. And then... I'm assuming since it's lit, my torch is put away, or I'll, if it's not, I'll put my torch away, um, and then I will attack with my glaive. Yeah, roll the hit. Let's see it. Don't worry, daddy's got you. Roll again. <laughs> a 10 <laughs> is going to miss. You, uh, <laughs> you <laughs> And a 9. Even with advantage, you run up with your glaive at Clark here, and uh, you go to almost do a, a running like jab at him and he grabs his uh, almost morning star with both of his hands and just hits it up <laughs> you f your arms fly up <laughs> hey, you know eric i gambled with my last spell slot and you're not making it very worth it no. Tor, you're up. <laughs> uh, how do you track well i don't even have a spell i can't track spell slots right you'd have to be there <clears throat> until right. you get a spell do you, are oh, you okay. able to track them or how does that work i don't see why that would you need the... to track them before you have them well, I'm just saying, can everybody see it, or can you not see it till you have them? You can't see it till you have them. Oh, okay. I, I don't know how to, it works. But D and D beyond. Torg, you're up. All right. Well, I'm gonna swing again with my great axe. Yeah, your rage is still up. Go ahead. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. See for crit. Okay. Go ahead and roll damage. Which I, b I believe you get that an additional a... two because you're raging. Eighteen. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ! And then as a bonus, that wait, was fucking. That was, that was the subtlest ATM I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> God just casually <laughs> rolled max damage. That was, yeah, so <laughs> max damage. Damage. eighteen for damage. <laughs> It was a base fucking weapon smack, dude. Yeah. What the fuck? You, uh, Remy, as he hits your glaive up towards the ceiling, Tor, you take your uh, battle axe. Right as your uh, orc friend is running up to help you, and Clark is almost distracted at this point, you take it, find the, the spot right behind the knee, swing it down, and you almost get all the way through Clark's knee. As you can hear him shout, you can hear and feel the tendons snapping through his leg as you just bury this iron into his leg. So he wasn't that strong after all. Uh... Right after that, if that's going to be it, you want to do anything else? Uh, I wanted to take my heal. Sure, yeah. You can down your uh, yeah. down your health pot. Was it a D4 plus 4? 2D4 plus 2. But as you as you down that health pot, um, Tyrion and Akai, off to your right, you, so can see, you can hear and see as another goblin yeah, yeah. sneakily uh, 
reveals themselves behind a, a, a stalagmite as another one steps out. And, Remy and Tor, you hear, right as you uh, bury this axe into his leg, <laughs> uh, oh. barking from behind him, as you see a white dog from behind <laughs> jump out from behind the supplies. So, these uh, two goblins are going to take short bow shots at Akai. Uh, that is going to be a 19 to hit on the one, and a 4 to hit on the other one. Probably not. You take. Yeah, only one. Uh, six points of piercing damage. Uh, Torque. A 14 to hit. Doesn't misses this just, uh just misses this dog comes or this giant wolf comes out from behind these supplies <laughs> right as you're swinging it's just too quick and it you can hear its mouth almost snap in the air um as we come back to clark and you bury this in his knee as he lets out a a, a wail <laughs> do you not know who you're fighting we are the cragmars soon we will take over this whole land will be ours. Ah! He's going to swing down his morning star right back at Torg. Um, that is going to be a 14 to hit. Just misses. No, he woof, swings right <laughs> over as you duck underneath it. Woof, his massive figure. Um, that's going to be their turn. Uh, we come back to Tyrion. Uh, as I see the goblin to our right, I'm actually going to attack him. Sure. Also, I don't know if this matters, but fairy fire is a 20-foot cube within your range. Mm -hmm. Anything in that zone has to take the thing. Cast it on him, obviously not on my teammates, would be the two squares behind him. I don't know where the ripper was, but I just thought I'd throw that out there for you. Um, yeah, I don't know yeah, how yeah. it works because I have what's no the, What's the DC? 14. 14. Dex. Uh, decks so these two goblins over here are a lit not the goblins they would not yeah, be they're, they're oh okay yeah well they're ripper they're ripper, they're ripper, they're uh, cube. ripper rolled a not natural 20 on the save so jesus oh, christ okay i'm going to shoot at this goblin Gee, yeah go ahead and roll the hit <laughs> Tyrion launches off a pebble snaking in between the stalactite and the wall 24 and that's a hit go ahead and roll damage Five damage. Hell yeah. Roger, roger. And you I'm going it. to take a five him in the chest. step back so he doesn't see me. Yeah. Uh, after that, we come to Akai. Uh, imagine after that shot, I'm pretty bloody, so I'll like, fall to the ground. Oh, like, what in the hell? And then on the ground, I'll take my longbow and I'll shoot at the same goblin that... That, uh, shot at. Sure, roll hit. Twelve. Mm -mm. Seeing that I whipped the shot incredibly, I'll <laughs> drink the books <laughs> as my bonus action. How do I do that on D and D Beyond? So you just do the dice in the bottom left, do two D four, and then add two. Two D four. What? <laughs> Roll another D <Three>. four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if that's going to be Akai's turn, we come to Remy. So, so you six. got six. Um, that's hard. I'm going to swing my glaive again at uh, at the bear. Yeah. The <laughs> after, still, uh, after it getting advantage. hit off, uh, it is. Okay. Tyrion, is uh, is that concentration? Uh, you didn't get hit. But... 17 hit. I'll double check. 17 just makes it. Go ahead and roll damage. Concentration up to it. Can I minute. roll for crit? Sure. Yeah, sure. Oh, 17 again. Alright. Dice on my. Yeah, you find uh, an opening. 10 damage. And you Got bring me. down your glaive. Uh, you bury it into his uh, his shoulder. Um, and that does uh, 10 damage right there. He lets out another shout <laughs> as he looks back towards you. Uh, we come to Torg. I'm going to hit Clark again. Yeah, go ahead and roll the hit. Your rage's still up, and it's 18. at advantage. 
Yup. I'm gonna try for crit. Yeah, fish for them crits, baby. Nope. Come on, Damn. get a crit, someone. <laughs> hey, Torg opened it up with one, didn't he? Oh, I only hit for eight. Eight damage? I was on a two. Uh, Clark is fucked up. You, uh, after Remy <laughs> buries his glaive into his shoulder, just this meaty figure in the middle of this room towering over you guys. You guys are just decimating, cutting him apart, burying your iron into his body after hit after hit. Clark absolutely fucked up and bleeding everywhere. <laughs> Ripper off to your right <laughs> goes for another, uh, another attack. That is going to be a not natural 20. As you take 10 points of piercing damage, oh, wraps his maw around your arm. Um, the two goblins to the right Sorry, of Akai. Sorry, who is that to again? Uh, Ripper to Torg. Torg. Okay. Uh, the two goblins off to the side of Akai <laughs> are going to pull out their swords and run towards you. <laughs> they leave their positions here. That is going to be a 16. Yeah. <laughs> and a 7. As you Damn. take 4 points of piercing damage. He runs up with his sword. <laughs> slashes it down your body. And then we come to Clark himself. After getting hit by all of these attacks. <laughs> you just kind of shakes it off a little bit. As he hits almost... All your glaive and your axe kind of out of the way with a swoop. He grabs his morning star, grips it tight. Are you coming with me? And he brings it down right over Torg. In a, a attack, last ditch effort. And a, again, a not natural 20. Yeah. I'm rolling a lot of 18s over here. Okay. He finds purchase. Uh, let's see what this damage is. I don't think it well, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> Unless he rolls... Uh, that is going to be I die, die. that is going to be ten points of piercing damage. Ooh. He brings this huge morning star. As all of you see, he brings it down right over Torg's head. <laughs> Do you have a helmet? No, I lose no. Like Just kind of smokes him off the side of the head, and like a sack of potatoes, Torg goes unconscious. His body almost. He gets jostled so quick from the force of this blow, you can almost hear him as his body smokes one of the crates to the side. <laughs> That's going to be it for his turn as we come to Tyrion. Well, <clears throat> you just hear him laughing as the echo across the cave. <laughs> Guy gets knocked, Ben. Well. <laughs> so, as my action, can I run to a key no not yeah let's see what this is what i want to do what i want to do is i want to run to a key and knock him back so in a way where because on his turn he'd have to take opportunity attack i'm going to try to push him out of the way you're gonna push damn okay um yeah uh opportunity attacks don't trigger if the person is like forced like out of their will so this won't trigger attack of opportunity but i am gonna need a strength check akai uh it's up to you if you want to roll the strength tr to try and stay there or allow yourself to be pushed out of the way i'm completely it's... oblivious i'm like pretty drunk at this point i took like four drinks so yeah Tyrion, give me a give me a strength check completely like tunnel vision on the goblins five a five uh, it barely makes it. And since he said that, he, he, he is a little tipsy. He has been drinking the whole day. You run up, and you, you stick your hand out on his chest, ooh, and he flies back to your to your left, right as you look to your right, and this short little goblin with this pointy little sword ah, has his tongue out right in your face. Do I... What do I have left this turn? Uh, bonus action. Okay, um... Some movement. Right in the face of this fire pit, too. I'm going to just yell to everyone. Uh, I'm out of healing. Get to her gut. Clark's almost dead. We got this. 
Uh, yeah, and then we come to Akai. You get yourself pushed out of the way as you see Tyrion wedge himself in between you and this goblin. I will see Tor go down, as it, and as I'm getting, like, shoved in the corner, uh, I will try to do take a shot at Clark to kill him. Go ahead and roll the hit. Oh, at advantage. Please. Come on, do it again, baby. Do it again. Do it again. He's got it. He's got it. Yes! 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 <laughs> uh, it, it, it does not matter what you roll. He is at 1 HP. Akai, how do you want to do this? God damn it. <laughs> I'll, like, as I'm falling back and I saw Torg drop with it, I'll be like, no! And I'll, like, like super, I'll, like, pull back my bow as far as I possibly can to make just and I'll shoot my bow uh, right at Clark, and I'll shoot him right square through that with an arrow. Ooh, you can, baby. in this almost slow-mo, hear the string of Akai's bow draw back. You can almost hear the wood sp almost start to splinter as he pulls it back as hard as he can, farther than he normally does, and in a flash, <laughs> Remy, you see an arrow <laughs> fly past your face, smoke Clark right in the forehead as he almost whoosh, flinches back and his body smokes the uh, supplies behind him as his entire uh, huge massive body just falls into this wood. <laughs> okay. Anything else? <laughs> uh, a normal character fashion. I like sit there and I'll like squint to see that I dropped him and be like, God damn, I'm good. And I'll like sit here and just take another pull out of my flask. And uh, I mean, that's really all I can do, honestly. All right, we come to Remy. Clark is now dead. However, there are still threats in the room. Um, You can see this is huge there anything white wolf almost foaming at the mouth over Torg's body. Yeah, I'm gonna... Can I do anything to get Torg back up? Or is that like a bonus action or no? Uh, that would be an action. Uh, if you have a health pot, you can get him up right now. Or you can do a medicine check and try and stabilize him so he doesn't make death saves. Uh, but don't... If, if you fail a medicine check, though, doesn't it count as two? No, uh, it counts as uh, one. Fail. Counts as one. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's if he, like, um, crits you. Someone you, which is All right, right. I'm going to kind of, like, get in between Torg and the Ripper. Okay. And then hit the Ripper with my glaive. Oh, yeah, what yeah, is Yeah, go uh, ahead and roll the hit. What does is, what is Remy say as he does this, Doc? You kind of uh, just find, like, your, find your way on top of, in between. The oh, area. shit, I gotta do something here. And then I'm just gonna, like, kind of fucking grab my glaive and <clears throat> is, uh... I don't know if this is with, this is not uh, at advantage yeah and an eight is going to miss you take your glaive whoosh, swipe it right at ripper however uh in these supplies he kind of just <laughs> ducks underneath it um if that's going to be your turn we come to torque i need you to make a death saving throw so if i go unconscious while raging I get advantage on strength checks and saving throws? Um, no, Man, you lose really? your rage if you go unconscious. Seems rigged. <laughs> Have uh, you already used your half orc trait, by the way, this rest? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Relentless <laughs> endurance, yeah. Um, yeah, so go ahead and make a, go ahead and make a death save for me. How do I do that? I see it up at the top right here because I'm dead. Do I have to click something up here? I don't know how that works. Stream your... Uh, either roll a... I, I don't see it. You can just I've roll never... a d20. Oh, okay. What do I have to hit? Um, A 10 or above is a success. A 9 or below is a failure. A natural 1 counts as 2 fails. And a natural 20, do you're I up get... with 1 HP. Do I get any uh, modifiers? Nope. Coin flip it, baby. So a 7, that's a failure. Uh... So you have one failure. Mm -hmm. If you have three failures, you gone. Mm -hmm. Um, we come to Ripper. 
good thing Remy wedged, wedged yourself in between you and Torg <laughs> right as he unleashes another attack over almost at Torg's body. You wedge yourself in the way. And a six, as you go and swipe with your uh, your glaive, you kind of hit him off to the side. <laughs> that is a miss. Uh, the two goblins next to Tyrion, as you wedge yourself in between Akai, they're going to go ahead and make attacks on you. Uh, a 16 to hit. No chance. No. Uh, and what? a seven, <laughs> probably not. Both of no them chance. bring their swords down <laughs> over you as you wedge yourself in between. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a staff? What do you have? Right now, I have the, uh, the shield on my left, and I have the sling in my right. Well, I have the shield on my left and the sling in my left, and you know I use it like that. But I'm going next turn. I'm going to drop my sling. Uh, I'm pretty sure you uh, you can't shoot a sling if you have a shield in your hand. I was thinking it's a shield on my arm. Is that not how that works? Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's a shield on my arm, so my hand's free for my sling. Sure. That's not how that works. It's tied around your forearm. Should, we, no, we yeah. can do that. Yeah, we can do I that. Well, like, can you tie, can you tie, like, armor characteristics to, like, you know, like a shield to your, to your armor? Like, if that's not how that works, then I don't have the shield on. Because I never. Told I'm. You I'm. I'm pretty sure you can. I mean, uh, I, it makes sense because I feel like a like a shield has probably got like the two leather straps on the back, and you can probably put your whole arm through it, whether you're holding the last. Well, strap I mean, with your so so not. so the idea is so for example in D and D, like you can't uh, wield like let's say Kalad or uh, no, 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 let's say Torg for example with the with his battle axe, it's a two handed weapon. So the idea is you can't. Ha We'll have the benefits of a shield and wield a two-handed weapon at the same time. Whereas, right. if we're allowing somebody to strap it to their arm, what's stopping Torg from having two shields on both of his yeah. forearms right, right, and wielding exactly. a fucking battle axe and having plus four <laughs> AC? You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> I don't. I don't mind this. Just, I'm fine with this. just has ten <laughs> shields strapped to his body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a real tank. Guys, like literally the Spartans when they form a shield wall, yeah, like, yeah. runs in the middle of battle, just cubes up. Like a porky button, bro. If that's uh, not how that works, then my AC is 16, like. not 18. Okay, would would that hit uh, attack hit then? Uh, if I can't have that shield like that, then yes. All right. That's gonna be a well, four uh, damage. Like it, what? Could it, okay. Could it be well, if we're doing this, can to... we do one thing? If I would have rushed into combat, I would have dropped my sling and equipped the shield and my short sword. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just assumed <laughs> sure. that was okay. Yeah, yeah. We can do that. <clears throat> Right, then I have my short sword. My... Yeah, you have your yeah, shield well... and your short sword out. So as as these two goblins run up to uh, hit you, as you wedge yourself in between a kai, you hold your shield up, and you can hear two swords <laughs> bounce off of the shield. <laughs> you almost flinch like back, even though these goblins standing, you know, a good three feet below you, their force of their blows and their shield almost send you back almost five feet. Uh, but that's gonna be their turn as we come to Tyrion. Okay, Shade, next time I will tell you if I do that, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, um, I'm going to take a short sword attack against the goblin that I already hit. Yeah, go ahead and roll the hit. Let's see it. Let's see it. 20. Is that natural? Uh, no, not nat. Yeah, go ahead and roll damage. These are not advantage, by the way. Everybody, uh, Seven damage. Clark was the only person who was uh, alit with the fairy fire. Seven damage. That's going to go ahead and do it. You uh, take this hit from these two goblins and just blindly whoo, swing your short sword out. <laughs> Finding purchase on this goblin standing next to you. Uh, is that going to be it? Uh, the other goblin's clearly enticed with me, right? Correct. Yeah, I'll just stay there. Uh, Akai, you're up. Uh, after shooting Clark in an amazing fashion, I will uh, look back to Tyrion after he strikes that uh, other goblin down. And being that he helped me, a key will like spring off the back, and I will fly and attack or attempt to tackle this goblin. And attempts to stopping him from attacking Tyrion <laughs> with my talons, bro. All right. And, and, and in fashion, it's like the typical like hawk 
sound, right? Like yeah. a little scream. <laughs> <laughs> you'll hear as I fucking through the flames across the room, <laughs> and I will attack the or just attempt to like tackle him or yeah. maybe like hold him down or whatever. Give me you know a what I mean? give me a strength check. Uh oh. <laughs> um, no, said, uh -oh. Shit, let me see. Let me see. Let's see it. Seven. That is going to be a fail on the tackle. However, you can still roll to hit with your claws. All right, talons. Let's see it, please. Nineteen. Yeah. Roll damage on them talons, baby. Nice. Not bad. Ooh, big a, three. a big three. You bah, fly over this fire, woo, swooping past Tyrion. Tyrion, your hair almost flies past you as you see this white blur flying through the air. And your talons barely uh, scrape past this goblin as you almost fly over him. He tries to duck underneath you, but you scrape him a little bit. Ah! Yeah, you end up over there. Uh, we come to Remy. Um, I'm going to kind of look back and obviously see that they're uh, doing just fine over there. So I'm still going to help my buddy Torgoat, obviously like kind of protecting him and attempt to swing my glaive again. Yeah, this wolf right in front of you rolled a hit. Is it now in between oh, these supplies shit. and a 23? Go ahead and roll damage. Let's see it. Whoa. <laughs> Woo! With a you twelve, so much <laughs> yeah, damage. they do a lot of damage, bro. When You're they get, one, yeah, bro. Uh, <laughs> you take your glaive, stabbing at this uh, this huge white wolf, kind of almost clamoring over these supplies. Now, <laughs> you go to stab at it and feel your glaive slide all the way up one side of it in one quick swipe. You can immediately see blood just squirting off to the side. <laughs> It is very bloodied, this wolf. Uh, we come to Torg. I need another death save. <laughs> I need another death save. Fucking <laughs> <I can> eight. <laughs> oh, not rolling good. You're on two Ooh. fails. One more, and Torg is no more. As we come to Ripper. Remy, you're standing in between. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna go ahead and make one last dish effort to uh, try and bite at you with a 21 to hit. Yeah, it misses. As you take 8 points of piercing damage. I... Alright. You're good? Yeah, I'm good. Alright. You <laughs> kind of jumps as you slide it up its body. <laughs> bites almost up towards your nape and it latches onto like your clavicle area it's mod just ripping a good chunk of flesh off of your body um this last goblin over here akai you fly over and as you're flying over the goblin snakes underneath you as it goes to make a almost stab with its short sword at you Tyrion. With a five to hit, probably not. You with your shield still almost do a spinning move. You're not used to uh, melee combat, but you almost do a little spinning move. <laughs> ping! And hit it off to the side. Almost look like looking like a functioning group here, guys. Uh, Holy we shit. come look to look Tyrion. Uh, what's happening with the Ripper over there that I can see? Um, you can see just uh, Remy standing almost against the supplies, against the, the cave wall. You can see Torg's body laying underneath him and something on the other side of Remy that he seems to be fighting. It's kind of hard to see over this campfire right in front of you. Oh, fuck. But this goblin I... right in front of you that, that you've been hitting uh, uh, looks like he has uh, uh, some pretty good wounds. I'll hit the goblin with my skimitar. Sure. Roll a hit. Uh, natural nine. <laughs> uh, that is not going to do it. You go to stab at him. He, he uh, almost ducks underneath it. <laughs> swinging out of the way. Is that it? Or I'm going to scream. 
I'm out of healing. Someone needs to get Torg a health pot. And that'll be my turn. All right, we come to Akai. Torg is two turns away. I don't have a potion. Yeah, you uh, do. No, I don't. I, I drink mine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I did this last. Oh. I think I did this last session, bro. I'm not gonna double use one potion. It's not happening. Did uh? Did we all use them already? Did I think you so. Use yours? You used yours in the water. I used mine. Yeah, I, I think. No, Ben's the only one who doesn't. Who I think. Wait, no, we only got I three, but Torg kept his, and I'm pretty sure Torg used his <laughs> as well. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Then I'm sorry, boys. <laughs> I fucked up. Um. Uh... So, how many death saves does Torg have again? Uh, technically, no. you don't know. Oh. Really? You just, you, all you know is that Torg has been unconscious <laughs> on the ground. His blood's starting uh, to pool. A key on one is going to, because I'll, I'll have seen him obviously fall in when I shot on. Clark. Uh, so yeah, so again, I'm I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'll uh, I'm gonna move really close. I'm gonna use all my movement, and I'm gonna point blank shoot him. Uh, within five feet, you have disadvantage on range attacks. Oh, <laughs> and do I roll it? <laughs> well, you can move five feet and shoot, then move another five feet. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, you can shoot like on your way. Uh, really? Go ahead and roll the hit. Um, yeah, sure. So I'll be like right there when I shoot, I guess. Please. Oh, baby. Woo! Go ahead and roll damage. You're going to have to roll real shitty not to kill him. <laughs> oh, eight? <laughs> yeah, that's going to do it. <laughs> as you're flying over uh, an arrow, as you see this ripper almost jumping at Remy in this fight, <laughs> you hit, snake your arrow right up the slit where Remy cut it up the side with his glaive. It rolls and tumbles this wolf into the pile, laying right next to Clark's body. And you get up real close. And same thing as I'm walking up as I execute this thing. I'm just gonna like, like to me, it's gonna seem super cool, but I'm, I'm gonna like sheath my bow after executing these two things. And I'll just be like, and I'm gonna like scoff. But to you guys, it's going to look super shitty. <laughs> As I'm like stumbling and I'm just like, you know what I mean? Oh. Like typical trying to flex, but I'm just, it's just not working. So I'll like, and I'll just be like, you are struggling with this thing. And I'll just ha! <laughs> I'll like laugh out. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess that'll be it. Remy. Can I bonus action attempt to medicine check his ass? Uh, it would have to be an action. Shit, okay. Oh, boy. If you have a minus to wisdom, it's almost... I shouldn't say anything, but probably not worth. It's worth. Yeah, what but you I can do harm. I'm going to look at Akai after what he just said and kind of scoff at him. It's a key, like, bro. A key. <laughs> Okay, watch over Torg, I'm gonna go finish business. And I'm going to, like, come over to this goblin. I'm gonna, I'm and... gonna counter and say to you as you walk away, I'll be like, I think I have this thing plenty under control. <laughs> After killing the two. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, these two. <laughs> swing with my glaive. Yeah, go ahead and roll the hit. You run over towards Let's this goblin. See it. That's oh, a hit. Okay. Show me that damage, baby. Let's see it. Ten. 10 is just gonna do it. You take this glaive, and if the last goblin or enemy into this cave, you take one swipe almost as you're running up. You can see the sparks scraping from the ground, and you pull all your muscle in to snap it up. You bring it up, and the jaw of this goblin shatters, and you guys see gore splatter the ceiling and he falls straight back onto his back and after that torque i need a death save <laughs> he is at two failures Wait, I'm a, we're, we're out of combat dude correct is but... combat over can i make an action quick <laughs> oh that was quick <laughs> 
Is this theoretically uh, anything we what can do, do without let's, a healing pot? I'm trying to look around it. the room and I've seen what they keep health pots in the wagon. I've seen what they keep health packs pots in the cave on uh -huh. the other side. I'm trying to look for some bag that looks like it has health pots. Uh, yeah, um, but being so, I, I need a death save from Torque. I need a no. death save from Tork. Well, like, I was gonna get him up. That's why I came up here, bro. It is Torg's turn right after Remy, and Remy chose to go attack the goblin, so. I, okay. Hey, goblin's dead. We're not in combat. So but, like, we're out of combat. Can't we just all do it? Brandon, the if you roll <laughs> below a 10 three times in a row, you deserve to die. Here, here's, what, here's, why, here's why I'm saying this. So, no, it's fine. No, so it's during fine. combat... Roll. Uh, uh, right after this, during oh. combat. Yeah, twenty, baby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's mad. He throwed a nat twenty. He rolled a nat twenty. Rolls a nat twenty. All of you guys. Explaining shit, fuck, Brandon bro. just all like of, fucking. I just yeah, the ball. He's like, fuck it, dude. I'm rolling it. So all of you, as oh, you're uh, fighting in this cave, and all of this is going on. Uh, Remy runs, figure. makes a last ditch effort or decision, quick decision, to run over Torg's body and kill this goblin. As all of you look over, you can see Torg <coughs> kind of cough, sit up. I'm going to look at Torg as soon as he gets up. I'm going to kneel to get on one knee. Like with a smirk on my face. Well, wait to show up when all the work gets done, friend. And I'm going to offer him my flask. <laughs> Good. Where, the, where am I? A, a Kai? I would like to look yes. around because I saw two guys jump around. I'm trying to look around for Gundren. I'm as slowly I'm inching through towards the, Clark, okay. all of the. All I'm trying to as I'm going through the stuff on the walls. I'm mm -hmm. also going through the stuff to see if there's something I want. Yeah, as I'm, I'm gonna loot Clark since I shot him in the. Yeah, I was, I, was already, I was already moving over there. I'm gonna start. Tyrion, give me an investigation check. Wait, what? What did you say, Brandon? Oh, I was like, I'm slowly moving towards Clark on the ground. You just fucking 18. died, bro. You just chill, <laughs> all right? Motherfucker. <laughs> Guy rises from the dead. God, I'm gonna start looting. I, don't for I didn't forget. I'm gonna start looting. Did no, you hear it me sounds shit? like you did when you came back from the dead and asked where <laughs> you were, bro. <laughs> I came to. I came to. You have a massive concussion. <laughs> For all okay, you I'm, know, crawling, I'm crawling people. in the opposite direction, thinking that this is Clark <laughs> over here. <laughs> Guys, just concuss, just drooling, <laughs> crawling, yeah. crawling around. Uh, ben, uh, or um, Remy, or no, 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 Tyrion. <laughs> uh, would you roll uh, in your investigation check? Eighteen. Eighteen. That's good. Uh, looking around. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Uh, most of the supplies kind of where Clark and uh, this wolf's body are just looks like g almost general supplies. Uh, with an 18, you quickly run over towards this makeshift throne, which seems obviously to be Clark's, and searching behind it, you can find a small chest. Uh, looking in this chest, you find two potions of healing. You find 1,700 copper pieces. Yeah, nice. Hundred and fifty silver pieces, and a jade, almost statuette, of a frog, and its eyes are like tiny golden orbs. This thing is I... worth forty gold pieces. How much gold did you find? <laughs> you don't know. Okay, so nope, that sounds good. Do I see <laughs> the remnants of Gundren anywhere? Uh, anywhere where I think they had a prisoner? On on an eighteen, you look over towards the corner, and you can find almost a on the stone floor where it looks to be like somebody was tied up. You can see a little bit of blood and the wrappings that seem to maybe have been used to tie them up, but you do not see a Gundren. I'll yell, Sildar, get in here, help us look around for Gundren. And I just stowed everything, I'm obviously not in a fashion where I'm going to try to steal it from the party, but I did stow it. But I did stow the jade figure statue of the frog. 
Hope All right, no give, one saw that one. give me a sleight of hand check at advantage. I'm five feet from the guy. Nineteen. A nineteen. Nobody sees you stow the frog. <laughs> <laughs> All the other stuff, I made it obvious that I found some stuff, and we'll divvy it up. Sildar, you can uh, faintly hear his footsteps as he slowly makes his way up the steps. You see him kind of peering around this corner, the firelight alighting his face. Is everything taken care of? Help us look for What gun kind for of a question is that? Who, Who is that? I'm also going to go over, actually, nah, I'm going to keep the health pod for now. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Tor- Torg, you look a little messed up. I don't even know who you are. <clears throat> we just met. Who is this stranger? It's me, I'm Sildar. Sildar Hallowinter. You met me in the other cave. Doesn't ring a bell. I suppose no, uh, no sight of Gundren, huh? And then I just slowly, I start crawling away. Very well. <laughs> I'll give uh, Torg a potion of healing. <laughs> Can I like Whoa, stop wait, him from we... doing that for a second? <laughs> sure. You guys are rolling. Let me well, deal why? Why are you stopping me? Say something. Uh, before you do that. Uh. We've been in here for a while. Might uh, we might benefit from a, a longer type of rest. Well, I Are would say we're out of danger. We just take a nap in the cave. We just killed many goblins in. Gundren's still missing. I found some wraps over there that sounds like someone was tied up over there. I don't know if they have them somewhere else. I'm not familiar with this terrain, but if he's not here, I say we're not out of trouble yet. This, uh, Have we cleared every this, passage? This, this. In asking that question, being hammered, I will proceed to fall asleep on the ground. <laughs> Have we cleared every uh, passage? Can, can I? I, I don't know this place. Can I make I a check to seen. like, because like on this map, can't really see where the Ripper and Clark came from. But can we like peek anywhere to see if it's like an exit or like? Um, uh, they came okay. from. So they came from like they just like jumped out from behind the supplies. Oh wait 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 wait. Oh wait, so they I were in... off of Clark. Okay. I forgot oh, I looted yeah. Clark. Uh, you can find it's on leather's wraps. A. Um, let me see here. Actually, uh, yeah, you find a Morning Star. Crazy. <laughs> where do I? Where like? So when I get shit, how do I put this in the? I just write sheet. it down for now, but you what you can do, you go to inventory, hit manage items, and then you can add item. But like my stuff, the silver pieces and stuff, I just wrote that down because we're going to divvy it up, so I'm not putting it in D&D Beyond yet. Um, knowing we, based off the map, there's no like... I guess I don't know really know how to put this, but like, we've kind of cleared out the cave, right? So I feel like the only way that I'm talking to you, Shade, the only way that we get like bombarded would be, in hindsight, correct, is if they came through the main entrance that we. Do I know? Like, would that be correct? Well, uh, if you all say that you've uh, cleared out this cave, uh, the only logical sense that I can make uh, of us being ambushed is if there are more to this uh, Kragmaw gang. Um, from what I've heard or overheard while they kept me here, dodging in and out of consciousness, uh, the Kragmaw gang is larger. However, the majority of them, or the bulk, hail from this castle, something they called Kragmaw Castle. Uh, now that's being farther away. Uh, I'd say we have about an 80% chance that we are safe here. You know, oh, 80%. I'm, I'm, I'm a gambling man, but I'm risk 80% well, to save some health Tor, pots. Take this potion. Don't take it right now, but have it on you on the first sign of an action. Sucker it down. I don't care if we hear something and it turns out to be friendly. You hear something, you take it. We ain't taking any chances. Sound good, Torg? Yeah, sounds good. 
What I about me? As I'm like holding my neck, because it's I'm assuming it's still gushing blood from the ripper. <laughs> Jesus Did you Christ. die twice today, Remy? Did you die twice? Because I've died. Don't no. Me. Remy, you and Torg need to figure out a better way of I don't know what even to say. Fucking take it. If you we have these when we're back in town, we'll find what to do with them. Have it on you for emergency needs. And I'll give him the other potion of healing. I, I think it would be advantageous of us to use this hideout to, uh, for our benefits. Uh, I'm a little messed up myself. I could use a rest. I don't see why we can't take a rest here. Maybe someone who is willing uh, could just keep guard at the front. Well, maybe so on the bridge. I am black. I am black the fuck out right now. I'm. <laughs> I am passed out. Can I loot a Kai? Since he's that drunk. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll sure. allow it. Like, I'm like five drinks <laughs> yeah. in. I'm just sitting here. I am hammered. Tor, give it. Give me a slight of hand check. On that one. <laughs> On that one. In that case, I will play the scenario. <laughs> I reach down his pants to try to fuck <laughs> What is it? Never felt a corkscrew <laughs> before. And and honestly, even with a nat one. Being that with my character and what I say, you shade. Since I drank the strong moonshine, I'll I'll have no reaction. I'll have absolutely no reaction because I've been drinking out of the strong the whole time. So even I'll, if you're old, I'll I'm assuming I saw it. Yeah, yeah. I fucked up pretty bad. Tor, how would you look around? Uh, maybe the bodies. Maybe see if you find anything else instead of find looting your own fucking uh, teammates here, hot dog. You know what? He looted Clark. That's all mine. I'm sure he'll give you the morning star. It doesn't quite seem to be the weapon of a key's choice. I just want it as a trophy. Help me move this guy over here, though. I say if we're taking a long rest, let's hey, hide out over here to give us as much time to react in case something does come in. I'll take first watch. Does okay. somebody carry me over there? Yeah, I'm I, I carry you over there. I ask for assistance to carry you over there. Okay, I grab his legs. Uh, Before... I'm assuming walking over here. Can you clear that the rest of the map there? I'm assuming we can see that. Uh, I, I closed out the map like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Okay. This is what we're you playing just, just like, on the map. The map. We're all just, playing. Yeah. On all this right. Map. Well, in that case, in that case, let's take a long rest. <laughs> the fuck. Yeah. 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 Shade's not watching any of this like happen. All of it right here. We're taking a long rest. As I go through the rest of the... <laughs> I, I'm going to take first watch, <laughs> but I'm also going through the rest of the stuff on the far south wall. Do I find anything else, or was the chest the only thing of value? Uh, yeah, I mean, with the with the 18 investigation that you rolled earlier, looking now through um, all of the supplies, you can find very, uh, very bulky supplies. All of this, uh, it, it's very similar to the stuff that you guys had on your wagon. Most of it is just large crates carrying bulk items such as like uh, pickaxes and lanterns, uh, maybe a barrel here and I'll there of rations. Uh, sure, yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, this very well uh, is akin to supplies that like a dungeoneer would need. You you get the sense easily that this is the rest of the supplies that uh, the Rockseeker brothers were going to use to go into this wave echo cave. And as you're looking through this, I'm, uh, I imagine you kind of pop open a crate here and there, but maybe with a crowbar, just to see what's inside. Um, you can hear and see... Uh, Sildar sitting in the corner, kind of doffing uh, what armor he has on as he pipes up <clears throat> kind of quietly now that people are resting. If, if I may, most of the supplies, uh, however, we don't have a wagon anymore. Uh, we may still benefit of the de delivery of this to uh, what was her name? Uh, Lenin and her company at the uh, Lion Shield Coaster in Phantom. See, until you find a way to do something like Sildar, I was hired to uh, guard a wagon going there, and all this loot seems to be a loot in the cave to my eyes right now. I saved your, we saved your life, and we were trying to save Gundrons, but as I see it, if I find anything that'll help me, I'm taking it. That's my payment. Yeah, I have no issue with that, being as, uh, 
Gundren is obviously missing. That's very unfortunate. I only brought this up uh, as uh, there may be a, a, an incentive in your uh, benefit, all of your benefits. Uh, if we, for instance, take this supplies, throw it on the wagon you currently have, and just gain a little extra gold uh, on, our, on our arrival in Fandolin. How far away is our wagon? Did we walk miles to get here? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's maybe an hour or two walk through the woods. How much realistically could we carry then? Um, right about crazy? now, uh, you get the sense you with waking up the time you woke up and that you've been through this cave. We now, we, we get we, long you, rest. You get hey, the I, idea. No that, no no no. We haven't taken our long rest. I'm still talking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you you get the I idea that it's something. it's maybe uh, getting to maybe like. 2 3 p.m. And oh, okay. I, I will to answer your question. Uh, with time, you can take the time to gather the, these supplies and bring them to your wagon. However, you can do that like after your long rest. Okay. All right. That sounds good to me, then. I have no I'm complaints. Good. I would like to. I take yeah, first watch. Sure. Do I also get a long rest if I wake, say, someone else, a key, uh, Sildar mm -hmm. up afterwards? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you all can uh, go ahead and take your long rest. Uh, I will say, um, Tyrion, as you're, are you just sitting on the bridge, or are you kind of well, going I out? Well, I did my to watch the... there. I came back over as I woke up Sildar and expected him to go over there. Yeah. Uh, so, like on your watch, as you're sitting on this bridge here, very quiet, and it's in a, a this dark cave, and. Um, you can see the sunlight at the mouth of the cave slowly, slowly dwindle away as it becomes night. And you have a long time of just sitting on this bridge by yourself, kind of shuffle at times, so you get your ass a little comfortable, but you kind of just reminisce on everything that's happened so far on this journey. But you can uh, you can go wake up Sildar and ugh, thank you for taking the first wash. Uh, I can take it from you. Ugh, kind of stretches as he goes to take his watch. You can get your long rest. In. All of you can get your take your long rest. What's Which on, on, on your sheets, uh, I'm pretty sure you can literally just click like long take long rest. Yeah, somewhere. make sure yeah, the can. things check for hit points and you're good to go. Yeah, just uh, get max yeah. HP and then your whatever your if you have something with each short rest and long rest, right? You get your short rest back as well, correct? Yep. Yeah. Your hit die? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, should we gather this stuff up, bring it back to the wagon, and go from there? Or, I do say we got another option. I don't know how well we're thinking about it. But Sildar was here. We clearly saw that Gundren was here. And Sildar is telling us there's a castle. Sildar, how far away is that castle for the Kragmaws? I don't know where the castle is itself. Well, I think sadly, we, I think we should. I th I think we should gather what we can, get back to the wagons, and uh, continue our journey. Well, we I don't see any way out of here where where Gundren could have been could have been taken on a secret pass. I'm um, assuming he got taken to the castle. I don't see his corpse. I saw he was here some, for some bandages over there. Also, uh, Sildar, as you, we were, are you? Yes. Tilda, are you aware of, of potentially what route we need to take to get back to the wagon or to, to get to the castle? Um, our our loot, our wagons are, are off the main road where you guys may have been uh, uh, jumped in the first place. Do you believe that if we travel back and, and get back on route, uh, it would be in the, the general direction that we are supposed to be heading? The castle? Yes. Uh, they did not speak of the castle very much. I only overheard that um, Clog reported to uh, somebody at this castle. So there's some sort, however barbaric these Kragmars seem to be, um, there seems to be some sort of hierarchy here. Um, however, the whereabouts of the castle itself are unknown to me. Um, the, uh, I believe the only thing... If I can recall, you can you literally see him twindling his thumbs. Uh, 
believe they said something in the Neverwinter Wood. No. All right. Well, uh, with, the, with that, with that information, um, I'm gonna like put my hand in as I did previously and be like, I say we gather what we can. Get back to the wagon. You never know. Our may, our wagons may may have been ambushed. We gotta make sure that's still there. That's our main goal. And we uh, we go from there. What do you say? Yeah, I'd like to, as that guy was twiddling his thumbs, talking about the yeah. castle that he has no idea where it is. I'd want to. I want to know how honest he's being with. Yeah. Him. Go ahead and roll uh, an inside check. As you do that, uh, you can see Sildar kind of put his hand into and. Twenty. Craigmall Castle. If it is in Neverwinterwood, uh, Fandolin is the other direction. So, I believe we will be safe on our travels to Fandolin. And he puts his fist in. With a 22, this guy's telling the truth. Right. Yeah, I say we pack up the stuff, bring it to the wagon, bring it to town, secure some payment on our end, because option one, we'd end up finding Gundren and get the payment. Option two, I hate to say it to good old Gundren, but <sighs> loot might be all all ours. So I say we I would, pack I it would up. Hate, I would hate to backtrack. Even, even if we knew for certain he was at Cragmar Castle, I believe we need uh, to gather ourselves. I could it use might a not be a bad idea. The, o- I mean. the overall goal was to to get these supplies plus our supplies to to Fandolin. I think we, with what with little we know of Gundren, I I say we yeah, we packed do up. this for him. We yeah. we get the we get the supplies to Fandolin. I agree, except for doing it for us. Yeah, I, I like that plan better. I agree. So- so Sildar like, putting his fist in kind of looks around the rest of you expectantly. I hate this I'm guy. not putting I make my it, fist in. I, I I'm have just staring at him. for this guy, and I, I don't make it super obvious, but... I, I, I just look at him confused. Him. He, 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 he just kind of looks is, at is, Remy is, and shakes his head. fucking blacked out, hung over in the corner. Kai's not even awake. Wake your ass up, Aki. We're going. And I'd like to start packing up I'll the stuff. I'll hear my name, and I'll, like, j- like jolt awake. Packing the shit up, bring it to the wagon, bring it to Fandolin. Help us carry some shit. Uh, I don't know. I need to that. take a swig of. And I'm already gonna start drinking again. I like to <laughs> take out my gross. Class. <laughs> you can almost hear Akai just start glugging. And as all of you uh, gather yourselves in this cave over this Clark the Bugbear's body and clearing out this Kragma hideout, that is where we're we leaving. I'm gonna going kick the Clark to... in the fucking head. That is where we're going to end t- tonight's episode. So do we level up now? Finally? You are now level two. That was like level three, oh. bro. You killed a boss. Me. I killed. I killed like. <laughs> I killed like eighty <laughs> fucking <laughs> goblins. <laughs> Fifty. <laughs> that was like an hour and twenty died minutes. Twice? Come on, let's keep going. <laughs>